Come here, boy. Come here, boy. The catfish can see the fish. I got some seaweed over here. Oh, we got it. Get him, Carl. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have an outdoor saltwater pond. Look at the girth. I need to get some yellow tanks for the pond. Great pencil. Never seen that in my life, but that is cool. What? Hey, Rick and Morty. Oh, they're making noises this morning. What is going on, pros? Welcome back to another video. We're starting off, of course, like we have been the last couple of videos, getting you guys back into the animal vibes, feeding the farm. Here's Rick, and uh, that's Morty. Now, I actually don't know. That could be Rick, and that could be Morty. I have no idea. But these guys are my pet emus. Get some food. And there they go. Of course, over to our goat enclosure over here. Everyone's coming down to say good morning. Hello. The sun is bright today. It's time to eat. Now, I don't feed the goats much more than just about this scoop every single day of grain. A goat's diet should consist a lot of hay. That right there, hay. Grain to me here at this farm at least is just like a treat every single day that they get. And as you can see, they absolutely love it. Of course, let's do some waters. Never really understand how much water six goats could go through, it's crazy. Every day, sometimes even twice a day, you gotta refill this. What's up everyone? I have a literal dent in the fence from reaching over and emptying out this water bowl. Just like that. Turn that baby mama on and let her fill. Lady man, I'm coming. Oh, you tipped your bowl over last night. I don't know how much feed I have. Oh, I definitely have enough. Let's go, let's go. Hello, mama. Give Lulu a little bite first. All right, Lady May, wagging her tail. You guys know the drill in here, it is really, whoa, whoa! Mango, take it easy, buddy. You do half here, put some in there. The big pigs. Mango, did you lose a lot of weight? Yeah. <laughs> Can't even see, dude. My favorite part, the stuff smells so good. Call me crazy, but fly spray. I spray the whole house. Helps just prevent, keep the flies away from the pigs. We are on a farm, and actually, my farm is like, Compared to others, no flies whatsoever. My dogs are barking at a giant blue heron that is probably trying to eat my fish. Get him, Cole! Mia, get him! Get him, Cole! Mia, why'd you come to me? That, that's not what you do. Go get him! They love their water, and we are good to go over here. Of course, we gotta feed, turn the lights on and stuff, and all the tanks should start coming right up here for some food. Look at these beautiful fish. So pretty, here they come. If you guys did not watch, we got tangs for the saltwater pond, and I highly suggest going to check out that video. I got some seaweed over here. Oh, he got it. He's got it. He's got it. This has got to be one of the coolest things we have ever done on the channel. I don't know if you could agree with that. I think so, though. Such a cool project. Look at Dump. That boy big. Yo, Dump, you're huge, dude. All the fish in this pond are doing fantastic. Look at our gar. Oh, came up for a little bite. These guys already ate yesterday. I like to feed them every single day, though. Just a small little feeding. Whoop! In the freezer we go, which we're running low on food. My goodness. Barely any tilapia left. The catfish can see the fish on the surface, and look at them all just going nuts. All the catfish are like, how do I get that? How do I get that? That's crazy. And they're very, very healthy. You see how all the whiskers are fully spread. They're active. Great, great signs from the fish here at the farm right now. Let's see if we can get... Beast, turn around. Oh! Come on, right here. There we go. I know the arowana wants one. Beast. Peacock. Oh! Arowana. Woohoo! Baby fish. Whoever will get it. Oh, the bass got it. Not you, Beast. Oh my gosh, all right, that one got me. And the main feeding for this pond is tomorrow. That's a big tilapia feeding. But these guys have a great diet. They eat well. As you can see, they're very, very healthy. The fish are doing so, so good. I think this is literally the best I've ever looked. Come on, focus through. There he is, our chameleon. Got some crickets in the back. And Leo is doing fantastic. Enough in here. That is it for the fish building. I love this place. Best investment I've ever made in myself. That is all I've got for you here at the farm. Now we can officially get started with today's video. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Wow. This snapping turtle I have is so big now, I can't even grab it with one hand. He's growing. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Now I think we can get started with today's video. I'm 
like a pharaohs it's currently uh 12 a.m this is where i'm sleeping tonight it's a long story it's a really it's a really long story office here closed key to my room never worked i tried every window in the room i tried everything the car is the last resort see you in the morning the Waikiki Aquarium is an aquarium in Honolulu, Hawaii. Founded in 1904, it is the second oldest public aquarium in the United States. The aquarium is home to more than 3,500 organisms of 490 species of marine plants and animals. And today, we're gonna tour the whole thing. <laughs> we're in freaking Hawaii, boys and girls. Look at my license plate, Hawaii. This is my uh, Bugatti that I rented over the weekend. Zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. This is also my girlfriend that I rented Hawaii. for the weekend. Huh? Can you tell them why you're in Hawaii? Why? Because I live here now. Oh gosh. Temporarily. It is very, very windy. I flew my drone above here to get some shots and uh, it got taken offshore. I thought I lost the drone. Thankfully, I got it back. Welcome. Oh, dude. Look at Tate, look at there is. These are Jumbo Monos. That's Emo Nemo, we saw him online. This is Emo Nemo. These Monos are freaking epic, dude. Look how big they are. Huh. Emo Nemo, there he is. Oh my gosh, it's open. I didn't even realize, I thought this was all glass. There's actually an archer fish right here. It's a really, really big archer fish too. These guys that spit the water. They spit the water. This is an epic enclosure right here. This is super, super cool. Wait till my mangrove grows like that. Hopefully, maybe. He, they've got the natural light too. It's so smart. Look at this one right here. All just straight, literally straight clowns. Just like our pond too. And they got a yellow tang and a powdered blue. Look at all the anemones. I don't understand why my clowns have never latched to any anemone. That little white thing is a bone. Look at them all. So many. I need to get some yellow tangs for the pond. Yellow tang. These are native here, these yellow tang. There's so many of them. Inside the Hawaiian reefs, out of the depths of 100 feet. Yellow tang. We just got one of these for our pond in the last video, one of our last videos. That emperor angel, man, nothing's better. Nice. The harlequin tusk, such a sick fish. A lot of people say to get this. Unfortunately, I have yet to get it. Do you see how large this coral is, Tay? That's all, that is one gigantic coral. And it actually goes on to the next rock. And pretty much all these rocks are just covered. Now this has gotta be like 7,000, cause mine's four. Look at how big, we got some of these in our pond. The thing is, this is outside, so it allows natural light to come in and just grow these corals. Like The coral life in here is insane. This trigger has some freaking stringers on them. Look at the stringers on that thing. Holy smokes. Look at this. A tank full of jellyfish. Holy smokes. Those are some massive jellies. Now this is just a big sphere. It's a little dark in here, I'll tell you that. Take a look at that beautiful unicorn tang right there. We've just got one of these as well. Check out these yellow tangs though. I mean, we've got to get a school of these. I know they're a little bit expensive now that they don't really import or something between getting them from Hawaii to Florida. But these yellow tangs are just something else. I have no idea what that is. Oh, well it says right here. Sea urchin, slate pencil. Never seen that in my life, but that is cool. Isn't it crazy how these are real? It's oh, wow. so trippy. Oh, oh yeah, he just came out and snagged that thing. That's the snowflake. Snowflake eel. There's a zebra in there too. Well, fellas, they got white tip reef sharks right here. Coming right to the camera. My goodness. That's a big one too. And then that is a gigantic, I believe it's a bumblebee grouper. But I could be wrong. That looks... Like a Goliath, maybe? I, I don't know. I could see. You could see, you could see the spots. That zebra shark is goals right there. Goals. And that is one of the most bad stars you can get. Check out all the little seahorses. Of course, they're gonna have a seahorse tank. How could you not? And they're all just hooked on to the little plants. Everyone's always told me to get seahorses. Should I get some seahorses? Smash the like button if you think I should get seahorses. 
Taylor wanted me to get a seahorse. She's always asked me. And there's these really cool fish in here as well. They're called razor fish. They look like a knife and they just kind of swim up and down. Look at those, the fins. It's just like something you've never even seen before. They swim like vertical. We're about to go catch all sorts of stuff just like this inside the tide pools. In our next video, we're literally going to a bunch of tide pools. Literally just went to the beach the other day, checked out the tide pools, and I got a zebra eel. In the matter of five minutes, the first tide pool we checked. It is crazy here in Hawaii. So be ready for the tide pool video. That's coming soon. Hawaiian dwarf flounder. And you look right here. Look how flat he is. Flat Stanley. He's just laying flat on that rock. That's so cool. Cute. Where? Oh, Taylor looks just like you. <laughs> weedy sea dragon. It's a weedy sea dragon. It looks like a jumbo. I mean, it is literally just a jumbo seahorse. Look at that thing. I mean, what the heck? Mother Nature is something else, huh? Just to blend in, they've probably evolved. Touch screen to learn about seahorses and sea dragons. Well, here's all the different things I was just talking about. How they look like they have a bunch of... This is where their gills... Oh, it's gone. I feel like this place just keeps going. It's all underground. Check out this aquascape here. I don't know if I see... Oh, okay. This is a tank with mud skippers in it. The big old black diamond stingray. Gotta love when you see these. Black diamond, some plecos. Oh, there's a gar. Hey, gar. Right here, we got some African cichlids. Assorted African cichlids with some pretty pretty colors Tetra tank. It's crazy to see all these tetras and then be in the Amazon Just a couple weeks ago I was in the Amazon and you look down off the side of the boat and a lot of these tetras are just chilling And there right there is neons neon tetra look at the amount of species in this tank I mean there is just look at that wrasse in the back. What even is that don't know? I don't know a lot of these species put your head through Hey, look what at the I? baby manatee! Oh, it's a seal. It's a monk seal. Oh, I thought it was a manatee. <laughs> Unfortunately, the seals are gone. The enclosure is completely empty. Oh my gosh, we have an outdoor saltwater pond. I mean, does it get any crazier? I can't imagine the maintenance on this. Probably not anything crazy because that's the beach right there. So they only just got to pump, as I say it, they just pump water in. They just pump water in right there. Yep, look at these beautiful unicorn tang right there. They pump water in. It goes like this, and then you see these little things over here? That box and that box, it just overflows and goes right back into the ocean. Look at the girth on that tang. Holy smokes. I mean, that is the palm we just showed you, and that's the ocean. We're very close. It is literally on the beach, which makes life for them, probably maintenance-wise, a heck of a lot easier than it would be if they were by where my farm is because for me to get salt water, you all know the process. Oh, look at the Achilles tang, right front and center. Beautiful Achilles tang. This is a really cool tank in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure exactly what, what it's doing out here, um, but it looks good. It's an interesting layout, I'd say. I could say that. This aquarium place is, I feel like they could do a lot more with it. It probably just isn't generating enough sales, aka money to create more stuff like Dead zone, no seals, but they could definitely have a lot more stuff. So many mullet. Striped mullet and great bait. That's what we use for bait back at home to catch snook and stuff. So that right there, fellas, is Wakiki Aquarium. Very cool place. Tay, what you think? Rate it one to 10. I loved it. Yeah? Small, but they had great like things I don't think I've ever seen before. I'm gonna rate it, what are you gonna rate it? One out of 10. Um, let me give it a nine. A nine? It would well, you know what? For like the size, I mean, yeah, but it would be a 10 if they have the seals. Okay, so she's gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a seven. We're gonna look in the gift shop now. Oh, axolotls. That's like- We got axolotls. Look at the mini yellow tang. <laughs> Hear that V12 right there? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Quite the adventure. We're here in Hawaii. It's gonna be a great time. We got tide pool videos planned. We got, who knows? to be honest, what we got planned after that. But we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button. We've been traveling a lot, Amazon, now Hawaii. Once we get back home though, we're gonna do some crazy stuff with the saltwater pond, like get eels and sharks, and maybe even a zebra shark, the one we saw in there. They're like $7,000, but. What? Next video is gonna be tide pooling in Hawaii, catching the craziest fish you've probably ever seen. Be ready for it. See you then. Peace.
covered it too soon. <laughs> Peace!